The movie begins in an alley in Seoul where a young woman returns home from work late at night. She tries to hail a taxi, but due to the late hour and difficulty of finding a cab in the alley, strangers snatch it away first. Forced to continue on foot, a mysterious minivan approaches her. The polite driver, a skilled serial killer named Dusik who hunts victims at night, offers her a ride to the main road. The woman politely declines and walks away, but then hears a car door open and a muffled voice whisper for help. Approaching the car, she finds a brutally beaten man inside. Before she can react, Dusik overpowers her and drags her into the minivan. A few hours later, Dusik calls the police, feigning shock after finding the bodies. He blames the murders on three foreign workers, claiming they stabbed the woman to death. The next morning, we meet Kyung Mi, a cheerful woman who works at a sign language call center and has some hearing difficulties herself. After a stressful day, she goes to dinner with colleagues. Despite the lively atmosphere of chatting and laughter, she remains mostly silent. However, Kyung Mi isn't left out. Using easy-to-understand signs, she makes everyone laugh and joins in the fun. On the other side of town, Kyung Mi's mother, who also has hearing problems, diligently saves money for a planned trip with Kyung Mi. That night, Kyung Mi picks Kyung Mi's mother up from work and they head home together. After dropping Kyung Mi's mother off, Kyung Mi parks the car while her mother walks home. Meanwhile, Do Sik, on the prowl for another victim, spots Kyung Mi's mother in the alley. As he approaches to attack, a young woman named So Young arrives on the scene, thwarting his plan. So Young, returning from a date with permission from her overprotective brother Jong Tae, becomes Do Sik's new target. He rushes to her and overpowers her. A few minutes later, Kyung Mi returns after parking the car. Meanwhile, Jong Tae sets out to find his sister, So Young, as she's not picking up her phone. Kyung Mi's mother waits anxiously for Kyung Mi. Jong Tae stumbles upon Kyung Mi's mother and asks if she's seen a young woman around, but as expected, Kyung Mi's mother can't understand him due to her deafness. Do Sik observes this from afar, preparing his tools in his minivan, with Kyung Mi's mother as his next target. Kyung Mi returns and finds So Young's shoe on the road. So Young throws her other shoe from a dark corner. Kyung Mi rushes towards the sound and finds So Young stabbed, begging for help. Do Sik approaches So Young and Kyung Mi, wearing a cape and mask. Kyung Mi's mother see him run toward the corner, but she has no idea what is happening. Despite being deaf, Kyung Mi decides to call the police. Before she can complete the call, Do Sik throws her to the ground, attempting to kill her. So Young tackles Do Sik giving Kyung Mi the opportunity to escape. Do Sik chases her into a parking lot. She narrowly escapes through a half-open door, leaving Do Sik trapped. Kyung Mi reaches her car and video calls her mom, telling her not to go anywhere. She starts the car, but is surprised to find Do Sik in the backseat. Now aware of her deafness, Do Sik orders her to drive. Kyung Mi slams on the brakes, throwing Do Sik off balance. She then escapes the car and runs to her mom, who stands near a police call button. Kyung Mi smashes the button and the police speak through a loudspeaker, but communication is difficult as both Kyung Mi's mother and Kyung Mi are deaf. Do Sik returns to Kyung Mi and Kyung Mi's mother, disguised in a suit and claiming to be searching for his sister. He feigns distress upon learning about the young woman being stabbed after Kyung Mi uses her phone to share the news. Before they leave to search, the police arrive and take all three of them to the station. The language barrier hinders interrogation, so the police place them in a shared room. Kyung Mi's mother grows suspicious of Do Sik's sudden calmness and his constant staring. Kyung Mi assumes it's because he can't understand them. Do Sik approaches them and reveals the murdered woman wasn't his sister, explaining his newfound composure. Later, Kyung Mi gives her statement while a drunk man starts a fight with Do Sik. The commotion causes Do Sik to drop So Young's phone. Kyung Mi's mother picks it up, noticing So Young's picture on the screensaver. Do Sik snatches the phone back, further arousing Kyung Mi's mother's suspicions. As the police escort the drunk man away, Kyung Mi's mother informs Kyung Mi about the picture and signals her suspicions about Do Sik. Do Sik notices their conversation and, intrigued, steals Kyung Mi's address from the report. He then approaches Kyung Mi's mother, searching for a weapon in his bag full of knives. Just as he finds one, Jong Tae bursts into the station, frustrated by his missing sister. The police ask Jong Tae to show a picture to Do Sik and the others. Do Sik denies seeing So Young. When Kyung Mi's mother takes too long to compare the picture to the screensaver, Jong Tae realizes she's the deaf woman he met earlier and ignores her. However, Kyung Mi recognizes her and starts writing on paper to inform Jong Tae. Suddenly, 
Kyungmi's mother realizes the picture Jong Tae showed was the girl from Do Sik's phone. Do Sik is now well aware Kyungmi's mother is onto him and starts to intimidate her, saying he will kill Kyungmi too if she speaks a word. He then shows her his bag full of knives and takes out one of them. Do Sik walks toward Jong Tae and tries to stab him, telling him he stabbed his sister. But Do Sik doesn't realize Jong Tae isn't an easy prey, and Jong Tae starts beating Do Sik to the ground. Kyungmi and Kyungmi's mother run out of the station and the police outside see this and run inside the station. Jong Tae repeatedly punches and kicks Do Sik before he pins him to the ground with a knife at his neck, asking him where his sister is. The police find Jong Tae on top of Do Sik, and they use the stun gun on him, although he tells them Do Sik is the one who stabbed his sister. Do Sik immediately starts playing the victim and tells the police that Jong Tae lost his temper and attacked him. The police apologize to Do Sik and send him home, but outside, Kyungmi and Kyungmi's mother are waiting to see what happens next. Kyungmi and Kyungmi's mother try to explain what happened, but the policeman doesn't understand and sends Do Sik home. Later, Kyungmi and Kyungmi's mother explain what happened to the police, and the police now apologize to Jong Tae, who is very mad. The police take their statement and send everyone home. Kyungmi and Kyungmi's mother are now in their home, surrounded by their special light that blinks after picking up noise. Then their door is suddenly knocked loudly, but they are too afraid to answer. After checking who is behind the door, they open it to Kyungmi's mother's sister who came to collect her stuff. Kyungmi's mother helps her sister with her stuff, leaving Kyungmi alone in the house. Suddenly, Do Sik arrives at the house, unlocks the door, and enters. Kyungmi then sees the light blinking from her bedroom and realizes someone is inside the house. She searches the house but finds nothing. Do Sik is also turning off the sound detecting lights as he wants to roam freely in the house. Kyungmi then texts Jong Tae, telling him they will find his sister soon, but suddenly, Do Sik tries to kill her with an axe. She somehow manages to dodge it and runs toward a room, locking it. Then she texts Jong Tae that Do Sik is inside the house, and Jong Tae runs to the house. She also texts her mom not to come as Do Sik is there. Do Sik starts to break the door with his axe after failing to grab Kyungmi from the door. Kyungmi then grabs her phone and jumps into the dumpster outside her window, but Do Sik grabs her by her hair. She lets go of his grip and falls. She then immediately gets up and starts running. Do Sik chases her, and Jong Tae finds them along the way, and he chases Do Sik. After a long chase, Do Sik corners Kyung Mi, but so does Jong Tae. However, Do Sik confuses Jong Tae by piercing his own neck, bleeding himself, and asking him why he chased him. Jong Tae replies that he wants his sister, and Do Sik sends him a location where he claims So Young is. Then Do Sik gives him a choice, either save his sister or Kyungmi. Jong Tae now can't decide between the two, and Kyungmi has no idea what they are talking about. Do Sik urges him to make a decision quickly as his sister is dying, and Jong Tae apologizes to Kyungmi and runs to his sister. Jong Tae runs to the location, which is Kyungmi's place, but finds no one. Jong Tae calls Do Sik, but Do Sik accuses him of deserting Kyungmi and hangs up. Kyungmi's mother returns home to find her house empty except for Jong Tae. Do Sik now confronts Kyung Mi, but she throws a handful of dust in his eyes and runs. Kyung Mi comes across Do Sik's minivan, where So Young was just making her escape. The two quickly hide, and Do Sik comes near them. Do Sik tracks them to the place they are hiding, but when he is about to find So Young, he hears a loud banging as if someone is doing it to seek attention. Then, he finds Kyung Mi waiting for him holding a knife. Then she hits the siren alarm and runs. So Young then calls Kyung Mi's mother with Kyung Mi's phone and contacts Jong Tae and Kyung Mi's mother, who were looking for Kyung Mi. The police, Kyung Mi's mother, and Jong Tae find So Young, and the paramedics team take care of her. Meanwhile, Do Sik is chasing Kyung Mi as she runs into the main road where there are many cars. So Young confesses Kyung Mi ran to save her. Kyung Mi reaches downtown where there are many people compared to none in her neighborhood. Do Sik walks casually towards her as she begs strangers to help her but no one can understand her. Kyung Mi pulls out her knife to gather attention, and it works. But Do Sik uses this to his advantage and stops strangers from calling the police as he claims she is his sister. Seeing this, Kyung Mi runs, and Do Sik follows her, but he stops running as he is too tired. To his surprise, three soldiers bring Kyung Mi to him, thinking she is really his sister. After they leave, Kyung Mi begs Do Sik not to kill her as she has many plans she wants to accomplish. Do Sik takes her to the side of the road where no one sees them, and as he explains why he will kill her, Jong Tae arrives at the scene and beats up Do Sik badly. Jong Tae takes him out and calms Kyung Mi, but Do Sik is not finished and beats Jong Tae from behind. 
Dusik knows he can't take Zhang Tae on his own, so he looks for a weaker prey and tells them he will kill either Kyung Mi or her mom. Dusik quickly leaves, followed by Kyung Mi and Zhang Tae, who are all separated due to the crowd in downtown. Do Sik finds Kyung Mi's mother and convinces her that her daughter is on the side of the road and she has to go there. But Kyung Mi finds them and runs toward Do Sik. Then she stabs herself in her stomach and intentionally holds his hands, handing him the knife. Now, although she couldn't explain to the people what happened with her voice, she showed what kind of situation she is in to the people. Now, the crowd believes Do Sik stabbed Kyung Mi and Do Sik is outsmarted for the first time. Do Sik is confused and doesn't know what to do. Police surround him and Do Sik attacks one of them in panic. Do Sik gets angry and runs to attack Kyung Mi, but he is shot in his leg. The police shoot him twice as he is not going down and he tries to run, but Zhang Tae comes and catches him finally. A few weeks later, Kyung Mi and Kyung Mi's mother go on the trip they have planned for too long, and they are smiling once more. They are joined by So Young and Zhang Tae who are all fine after everything they went through. The movie ends as they take a picture together, showing they will continue to be friends in the future. Don't go anywhere. Click the video on your screen to keep these wild movie recaps rolling. Smash that like button and subscribe for more insane movie adventures. I'll catch you film fanatics on the next one.